The 10 Worst Pandemics in History Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel where today we're diving into the 10 Worst Pandemics in History. These outbreaks have left a trail of devastation, reshaping societies and pushing humanity to the brink of survival. From ancient plagues to modern day threats, we'll be counting down the deadliest pandemics from 10 to 1. Stay tuned, because some of the numbers and stories you'll hear are truly unbelievable. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon, so you never miss out on our latest content. Let's get started. Number 10. The Antonine Plague 165-180 AD In 165 AD, during the height of the Roman Empire, a mysterious disease spread like wildfire, devastating entire cities and even striking down Roman soldiers on the battlefield. Known as the Antonine Plague, this deadly epidemic wiped out roughly 5 million people, severely weakening the Roman military and economy. The symptoms fever, vomiting, and black sores suggest that this plague might have been caused by either smallpox or measles. As the disease ravaged the empire, it shook the foundations of Roman society, perhaps signaling the beginning of the empire's slow decline. Could a seemingly unstoppable empire be brought to its knees by a microscopic invader? While the exact nature of the Antonine Plague remains a mystery, its legacy of fear and death still haunts the annals of history. Number 9. The Plague of Justinian 541-542 AD Coming in at number 9 is the Plague of Justinian, which tore through the Byzantine Empire in 541 AD. Named after Emperor Justinian I, who ruled during the outbreak, this pandemic is believed to have been caused by the same bacterium responsible for the Black Death centuries later, Yersinia pestis. The Plague of Justinian claimed an estimated 25 to 50 million lives, decimating almost half of Constantinople's population and crippling the empire's economy. The emperor himself was struck down by the disease but miraculously survived. The plague didn't just kill, it left famine, social unrest, and a shattered empire in its wake. Could this have been the real reason for the empire's eventual downfall? With the economy in ruins and the military weakened, the once great empire struggled to recover. Number 8. The Third Cholera Pandemic 1852-1860 in the 19th century, cholera became the world's worst nightmare. The third cholera pandemic, occurring between 1852 and 1860, is regarded as the deadliest of the seven cholera outbreaks. Originating in India, this pandemic spread rapidly across Asia, Europe, North America, and Africa, leaving over a million people dead. But what made this particular pandemic so deadly? It was during this outbreak that the groundbreaking work of John Snow, a British physician, revolutionized our understanding of disease transmission. His discovery that contaminated water sources were the root of cholera changed the course of medical history forever. However, before these insights, cities across the globe were helpless in the face of cholera's brutal assault. The rapid spread of this deadly disease revealed the vulnerability of cities, and many began to question if anything could stop the tide of death. Number 7. The Asian Flu 1957-1958 Fast forwarding to the 20th century, Asian flu H2N2 virus struck the world in 1957, marking one of the worst pandemics of the modern era. The virus originated in East Asia and swiftly spread across the globe, causing an estimated 1 to 2 million deaths worldwide. Unlike earlier pandemics, modern transportation networks enabled the virus to spread faster than ever before. Air travel and global trade networks became the perfect highways for this deadly virus. Medical advancements, including the rapid development of vaccines, helped contain the pandemic before it reached even higher death tolls. But the fear and panic it instilled were undeniable. Could a vaccine be developed fast enough to stop the next pandemic? Or was humanity forever at the mercy of these microscopic killers? Number 6. The Sixth Cholera Pandemic 1899-1923 The cholera pandemics that swept the world in the 19th and early 20th centuries were as relentless as they were deadly. The Sixth Cholera Pandemic, which began in 1899 and lasted until 1923, claimed an estimated 800,000 to 1 million lives. This outbreak primarily struck India, where cholera had already claimed countless victims over the years. The pandemic reached across Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East, but it was less deadly in Western countries than previous outbreaks due to advancements in public health and sanitation. Could this be the pandemic that finally revealed the power of modern medicine? The Sixth Cholera Pandemic was one of the last major global cholera outbreaks, marking the beginning of the end for cholera's reign of terror. Number 5. The Hong Kong Flu 1968-1970 Coming in at number 5 is the Hong Kong Flu a 3 and 2 virus, which hit the world in 1968 and caused the deaths of an estimated 1-4 million people. 
The flu originated in Hong Kong and quickly spread to countries all over the world. As a strain of influenza A, it was highly contagious and dangerous, particularly to the elderly. This pandemic highlighted the globalized nature of disease as air travel ensured that the virus reached nearly every continent within weeks. Would the world ever be truly safe from the threat of influenza, or would this become a recurring nightmare? While the death toll was significant, swift action by governments and the availability of vaccines helped to reduce the impact of the Hong Kong flu. Number 4. The Russian Flu 1889-1890 the Russian flu of 1889 was one of the first pandemics to spread across continents using modern transportation, including trains and steamships. Originating in Russia, this flu rapidly spread throughout Europe, North America, and Asia, killing approximately 1 million people in a matter of months. The speed with which this pandemic spread was staggering within just a few weeks. Could the world keep pace with the rapid spread of pandemics in the age of modern travel? The Russian flu served as a grim reminder that with greater mobility came greater vulnerability. Number 3. The Spanish Flu 1918-1919 At number 3, we encounter the infamous Spanish Flu of 1918, a pandemic that claimed an astounding 50 million lives in just over a year. What made the Spanish Flu so lethal? The virus triggered a massive immune response in young adults, leading to widespread fatalities among the very people who should have been most resistant. Could the world recover from such a massive blow? The Spanish flu reshaped global public health policies and preparedness in its wake, but the sheer speed and ferocity of the virus left an indelible scar on the world. Number 2. HIV-AIDS Pandemic 1981 Present Coming in second is the HIV-AIDS pandemic, which first appeared in the early 1980s. HIV human immunodeficiency virus has claimed over 36 million lives to date, and though it is no longer as deadly as it once was thanks to modern medicine, it continues to infect millions each year. But why was HIV so feared, and why does it still hold sway over the world? The virus attacks the immune system, leaving the body vulnerable to infections and cancers. Today, advancements in antiretroviral therapy art allow people with HIV to live long, healthy lives, but the virus remains a global health threat, particularly in impoverished regions. Number 1. The Black Death 1347-1351 At number 1, we have the deadliest pandemic in human history, the Black Death. This medieval outbreak of bubonic plague claimed an estimated 75 to 200 million lives, wiping out between 30% and 60% of Europe's population. What made this pandemic so apocalyptic? The disease caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis was spread by fleas that lived on rats. Cities fell into chaos, economies collapsed, and the world was forever changed. The Black Death forced a rethinking of medical practices and public health, and its social and economic impacts are still studied today. Could anything has been done to stop the Black Death, or was it an unstoppable force of nature? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting content. Turn on notifications so you never miss an update on our latest videos. See you next time.